Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Island. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in. And you're watching. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. What's going on, Novi? And welcome back to another edition of the Cat's Eye News. I'm Arius. And I'm Billy. Let's get into this week's announcements. This year, musical The Little Mermaid is coming up soon. It's not too late to get involved with it. Our theater department's in need of construction team members. If you're interested in helping out, contact Ms. McCake at heathermccake at novi12.org. The forensics competitive speech team met tough competition at Wald Lake Western on Saturday, competing against more than 31 high schools and 447 competitors from across the state. Vishal Swami made it to semifinals in Informative, and Arushi Singh earned third place overall in the final round of Impromptu. Way to go, everyone. The team is now preparing for regionals in Birmingham on Saturday, April 15th. Alec has an announcement for robotics, so let's go to him now. What is up, Novi? As always, this spring season, I will be a robotics reporter, except this time, Anamesh will be joining us. Make sure you stay tuned to keep up with the Frog Force. Thanks, Alec and Anamesh. We hope you keep us updated over the coming weeks. Recycling Club also has an announcement, so let's go to them next. Uh, hi, my name is Dinit Mori. I'm an officer at Recycling Club. This is Dudley. I'm assistant dumpster officer. Yeah, and we're looking for volunteers to help us out here at the dumpsters. You can get two hours per week if you come in every Wednesday. It's easy work, you get a lot of hours, and if you have any inquiries, please email us. This year, our Novi Software Student Council, our project is to put recycling bins in the cafeteria. And the reason why we decided to do this is because when students finish their lunch, we realized that they had so many plastic bottles and aluminum cans, and we thought that it was in our best interest that students would have the opportunity to recycle here at Novi. So, as for what you can put in these recycling bins, it's very simple aluminum cans. Only aluminum cans. No plastic bottles, no chip bags. No food and no hardcore. And where this is located is in the in, is the entrance between the through the atrium of the cafeteria, and that's where and it's the one closer to the entrance of the office. We don't have any more locations right now, but we have some more in the works. It's that time again. Kittens got everyone covered it on that upcoming release with another edition of Up and Coming. What's going on, Novi, and welcome back to Up and Coming. Today, I'll be showing you the movies and games that will be coming out from March 24th to 31st. Sadly, there are no shows, but that's okay. Let's just get right into it. For the movies, we have John Wick Chapter 4 coming March 24th. I still need to see the first three, but I, as soon as I do, I'll be seeing the fourth one as well. Dungeons and the Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, will be coming out March 31st. It looks like a very fun watch i'm very excited if you haven't seen the trailer check it out it's just something fun you know go see with your family friends anything like that games we have resident evil 4 coming march 24th i played some of the previous ones it's a great franchise check it out last of us part one is coming to pc march 28th along with mlb the show 23 personally I already had the last of us part one so i might not get on my pc but i'm tempted i might just play it again mlb i'm not much of a fan of sports games but if you are i'm sure you'll like it we'll catch you later nova thanks kaden in a continuation of last week's feature broadcast john goes back on the case to close the investigation of the taylor swift ticket giveaway Cat's Eye News is giving two tickets to Taylor Swift's new concert. It's your boy John Barron. The cheapest two tickets can get is $1,066. It was real. We had a real winner. This guy has a, an overall negative relationship with Taylor Swift. We got him. We got him! He's a liar and he hates Taylor Swift. Ask what do you want? Questions. Ask her why I'm doing the giveaway. Why is he doing the giveaway? In order for Sky to support something like Taylor Swift, there's got to be a third party involved. I don't think he's doing this entirely on his own will. Ultimately, we can neither confirm nor deny the reality or imaginary value of these Taylor Swift tickets. If we could, they'd be classified as national security documents, and we couldn't tell you anyway. National security. A random high school's TV news giveaway hey, turned hey, into John, a national... Questions at this time. What? This is... 
Nick Cage like, looking. I don't know how, but apparently this Taylor Swift ticket giveaway is now a national concern. The feds are gonna bust down Mr. Latart's door and arrest anyone who's involved with the investigation. But obviously, that's all a lie. You can tell by Sky and Catherine's facial expressions that no one's in real danger. If they're vulnerable enough to tell me something bad will happen, then their body language should correspond, which it doesn't. And that leads me back to square one. I have no leads, no information, but I am still a Cat's Eye News journalist. Who has the Taylor Swift tickets? Who has them? Yeah, who has them? The winner that will be announced on March 1st, or April 1st. Who has them right now? I'm not at liberty to discuss that information. <laughs> I don't know who has them. It's above my pay grade. Okay, all right. And silence. I would say we're back to square one again but he slipped up he did say the winner that will be announced on march 1st or april 1st april 1st which day is april 1st april fools if the winner is being announced on april fools it's a joke there are no winners there are no tickets wait how are they gonna announce the winners if the announcement is over spring break? They could make a video that's scheduled to release on April 1st, but if it's a joke, you'd want as many people to watch it as you can, and with that way, no one will watch it because no one subscribed to the Cat's Eye News. Ultimately, there isn't too much evidence for either argument. This Taylor Swift ticket giveaway could be real, and it just coincidentally happened to end on April Fools, and coincidentally happened to turn into a national problem, or the side with more convincing evidence it's fake. Stemming inspiration from the last giveaway, Sky Uwaki, a local Taylor Swift hater, announced a new giveaway with malintent. The goal, to toy with the emotions of Taylor Swift fans with an April Fool's joke. A joke that, in the end, doesn't land because of spring break and would never have landed due to the circumstance of the calendar having April 1st on a Saturday. But that's all speculation, of course. English is my worst subject and I'm about to fail AP statistics. I'm not even a Taylor Swift fan, I just claim to be so I gotta have a credible reason to investigate this. This Taylor Swift merch I just borrowed this from Ellie Malachowski. Shout out to her. Anyways, thanks for watching this edition of the Cats I News, and have a good night, Wildcats. Thanks, John, for that deep dive. Girls Soccerers will be playing their first game tomorrow at Wild Lake Northern. Bex have left girls. Boys of Cross open their season tonight with a game against Gar uh, Father Gabriel Richard High School in Ann Arbor. Good luck tonight, guys. Girls of Cross will also open their first se uh, season tonight against Skyline High School in Ann Arbor. Good luck, Wildcats. And that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in again, Novi. I'm Arius. And I'm Billy. I'll see you in the next one.